It looks like a regular field, but it's anything but. Farmed with fewer fertilizers and no plows, this land is both cheaper and greener. Indiana farmer Mike Starkey is a convert to no-till agriculture. Traditional tilling turns up the soil, loosening it up and removing weeds. But it can also kill off some organic life and the nutrients beneath. No-till or conservation farming helps rebuild that nutrient base, breaking farmers' dependence on chemical fertilizers. Over a period of 12 years, uh, now we're 100% no-till. Uh, I would not have it any other way. The key to the method is the use of cover crops. Plants like clover and annual ryegrass protect the soil from erosion and reduce levels of nitrate, which can end up in rivers and the underground water table. They also trap nitrogen from the air and store it in the ground, just like a fertilizer, only one that's natural and free. That's a time-released form of nitrogen that will spoon-feed that nitrogen to the corn crop coming, coming ahead. But not every farm can go till-free, and those that do may still have to rely on herbicides to control weeds. The cover plants can also attract more insects, which can in turn damage the crop. Still, it's how about 35% of U.S. crops are now grown, as farmers reap the benefits of saved time and money. They reduce the capital equipment costs, they reduce the fuel cost, and they reduce the labor cost associated with seedbed preparation. It also helps that the U.S. government subsidizes up to 50% of the special equipment costs, no. an attractive incentive for advocates who say it's better large-scale farming for a better planet.